Alrighty, we are back at it again, this time with Nightmare Fuel Edition. Hello, hello everybody, it is... It is time again to play another pastime, a uh, pastime that was never meant to be, but it ended up becoming one. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So, <clears throat> this time around, instead of doing what we did in Ocarina of Time, where we basically got as minimal as possible, I want everybody to enjoy the full experience of Majora's Mask. And so we will not be done with this series until we have... One, all 20 heart pieces. Two, all bonus fairies. Three, all masks. And four, every upgrade that the game has to offer. In other words, we will be doing every side quest. <laughs> and we will be collecting every single heart piece. So we are basically doing the exact opposite of what we did in Ocarina of Time with Majora's Mask. I know, ironic, right? Anyways. We're starting off with a bang on this one. We're gonna name ourselves Yosh like we do and hit the end button. And now we get to enjoy the lovely cutscene. So. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend, a legend of a boy who, after battling evil and save Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Okay, uh, this is just the opening cutscene, so we are going to go over some more things, right? So, the big number one is that, yes, this is still, quote-unquote, the Ship of Harkinian uh, mod pack for the... Uh, for, for the ROMs, which means that it is going to look nicer. One thing that I will note is that even though it will all look nicer, it does have a tendency to do a slowdown. And it won't fix itself until I reset. Uh, it's most likely a programming bug that just hasn't been kinked out as the ship to... Uh, the ship of Arcadian from Majora's Mask is basically still in development so with that being said i hope you guys enjoy the nicer looking majora's mask i have always loved this game ever since i was a young child it felt like a really good follow-up to ocarina of time they took advantage of all the art from the first one to make this one in a short period of time <clears throat> which leads into even more impression from me because they did it in such a short span of time they did it within not not within i would say but they did it they released it a year after ocarina of time which is insane their deadline was a year crazy <laughs> you two fairies did great i wonder if he has anything good on him and I think this game in and of itself kind of revolutionized, like, what a good, like, game with side quests look like. Like, integrating the side quests into, like, the lore of the land is so beautiful in this game, personally, in my opinion. And I don't think that any game has really done it since, which is crazy. Ooh, ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see... You can't tell. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Aw, oh, sis, why can't I try it out? Hey. <laughs> nice little texture bug right there. Love it. Don't love it, but it's still fine. Hello. I see they did nothing to fix the horse animations, which is a bit rough, but it's okay. You know what? I take it back. Epona actually does kind of look better in this than they did in Ocarina of Time. <clears throat> if ever so slightly.
Slightly. The loading zones are a bit weird, for sure. Game was never meant to be in widescreen, so what can you say? What can you do? Anyway, we are back at it. Except this time we are a, I believe in this game, he is 13. So it's three years after what happened in Ocarina of Time. And we get fancy jumps. Look at this. Immediately getting into the game and they're showing off Link's fancy jumps. We get side flips and forward or front flips. Crazy. <clears throat> Did they need to do that? No. Did they do it? Absolutely. And I love it. I think everybody loves it, but still. Oh no! A bunch of JPEGs are flying at my face. <laughs> A leaf? Hello. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said, that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor, got rid of it. <laughs> uh, boo-hoo, why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now, do you really that word? Oh no, magical voodoo is being cast on me. What am I going to do? <gasps> Deku Scrubs? I'm being embraced by Deku Scrubs. No! I'm running in place now. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. Big screams. Hee <laughs> hee, now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way. Words. Bonk, 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 bonk. Imagine a fairy growling at you. <laughs> what a world. This is sis! Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me, I'm still here. Tail, you can't leave without me. Congratulations, you played yourself. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy, do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open the door for me? Please, come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Uh-huh. Helpless. No tail. I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. Yeah, yeah, Tattle. Yeah, yeah. I'll open the door since you're incapable. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there. I, um, apologize. Well, I mean, that was fast, but apologize. So, so take me with you. <clears throat> you want to know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then you're settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tail, so uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Weren't you growling at me like five seconds ago? <laughs> oh, we, uh, really change tunes quick, don't we? Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we uh, stop messing around and get moving? Yeah, 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 tell me stuff with up. Link is just like, I can't deal with this crap, dude. He's just like, you gotta be kidding me. Am I a joke to you? <sighs> oh no, is that a Deku scrub tree? I wonder what could have possibly happened. More lore on that later.
Ah, uh, yes, the infamous Deku Nut, the first item that you're supposed to receive. Love it. Basically in both games, realistically. It's either that or a Deku Stick. Hey you, press Z and talk to me. No, I think I'm good, Tail. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. Dad. You have no idea, Tail. Or Tattle, excuse me. By the way, in case you guys haven't figured it out, Nintendo is kind of cheeky with their naming system. <laughs> with this one, the two fairies that accompany Skull Kid's names are Tattle and Tail. And if you can't tell, if you mix those two names together, it makes Tattle Tail. You know, because she tattles on the enemies that you fight. Uh, you met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Ah, yes, those famous words. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now I found you. Now, don't think me rude, but I've been following you. How long have you been following me? For I know a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I'll return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? <laughs> Why to someone like you, it should be no means, uh, no means be a difficult task. Except... The one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you're young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Alright, well. This is going to be the longest part of the series where I do pretty much nothing. And the reason for that is because in the first three days of Majora's Mask, you are literally allowed to do nothing, pretty much. There's a couple things that you can do, a couple heart pieces you can collect, but in a general case, you're not really allowed to do much. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... <laughs> Sorry, it's just thinking aloud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. Just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, except for the fact that I'm gonna do whatever I want anyways. Hi, cafe! Hi, cafe. Alright. Boom, we got a stray fairy. Easy peasy. Who needs to go to the fairy, especially when there's no- when there's no great fairy to be had there without the stray fairy? Anyway, welcome to the collection system of this game. If you haven't already figured it out, instead of being a golden sculptulas, it is stray fairies. Because there has to be one collection system in the game. It couldn't just be nothing. So now that we got ourselves a beautiful old uh, stray fairy, we get to go to the Great Fairy now in North Clock Town, as uh, they said. Hi, Tingle! Introduction of Tingle was this game, just in case you're wondering. Hello, hello, hello. And before you ask, were they in Seasons and Ages? Well, I mean, they did come after this game, so yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh no, the great fairy is missing fairies or something. Word. Well, guess what? I got it. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> uh, Tattle and you, young one of the altered shape. Thanks for returning my broke, uh, my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that mass child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Thanks. You gave me the ability to spit. Wow. I'm so grateful. Anyway, see you later, I guess. All right. So with us having to collect all the heart pieces, this is going to be a bit of a longer series. I'm going to make a rough estimate and say about 30 episodes at 30 minutes a pop, probably. Just because it's, that's just going to take that long. Uh, yes, words. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is, but don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go play catch. Or tag. Hello, number one. And that makes one. Hello, number two. We're gonna do this systematically and to perfection. You have to do it fast because there is a mini game that we're gonna be playing all three days. Since we are playing as the Deku Scrub and we have nothing else to do, we might as well get this mini game out of the way because it will get us a heart piece. Congratulations, little kid. You played yourself. Anyway. One final kid. They are in West Clock Town. The only part that I haven't been in just yet. It would be faster if I went this way. Leave me alone, dog. Now, one thing that I added, and this is a nice spice of life thing um is i allow the ability to save like an ocarina of time and the reason for that is very simple is because of what i talked about earlier where like this game is a bit buggy so like occasionally it'll slow down and instead of having to deal with that until I get to a quote unquote save, it's better to be able to save whenever I need to. Code is three, four, two, and five. Easy peasy. Gotcha, gotcha. And uh, that is basically the only reason why I have it unequaled. Um, first thing is first. It is 12 o'clock on the first day. We need to go to the Observatory, take a look at uh, the Skull Kid for him to- whoopsie. Uh, I think it was three, four, two, one, five. We need to go to the observatory, we need to look through the telescope and take a look at the Skull Kid who will be actively making fun of us because, of course, um... And yes, the climbing speed is increased because I find it atrocious. That, I'll be needing that. We're gonna be playing mini games with this money, so. And if we can, we are going to get enough rupees to get the adult wallet. Well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bomber Gang? <laughs> your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friends from the other day. 
Uh, that ill mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watching him, he's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll gaze right at him. That troublesome troublemaker. Whoa! Oink. Nobody's seen him since. He just disappears off the face of the planet. Well, did you find the troublemaker? And that loud noise. What was that? Perhaps another moon tear is falling nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got, got on top of the clock tower. Only way up there is to the clock door, and that opens only on the eve of the car carnival. Uh, magic? He can fly? I mean, if I do the right things, I can also fly. So I can... hmm. Also, Cam, since we're doing a 100% of this, if you are right here in the middle of this episode, um... Yeah, I am doing 100% of this so that you can literally follow along if you wanted to on stream. You're welcome. And not only that, but I'm doing this to prove that this game is not as terrifying as I make it out to be. Unless you just can't figure out games or something, I don't know. Yeah, 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 kid. Okay, see you later. Alright. So, first order of action now. Because we basically have nothing else we need to do. The reason we needed the moon tier is because a merchant scrub will take the moon's tier for his, um, for his Deku flower. His little, his little scrub flower. And we need that scrub flower to get onto the carnival roof, right? But there's pretty much nothing else we need to do. At this point, we're just supposed to wait around and do nothing. Um, but we're not going to do that. What we are going to do is we're going to win this game every, every single day. Um, now, one thing that I can do... Is I can probably go to Tortoise's mother on the second day to speed up the process. Because you can skip hours with Tortoise's mother by listening to her stories, either two hours or all day. So we might go there. Um, we might not. I mean, I can't do it on this first day because it's too late, but I definitely can do it on the second day, so I think we do it on the second day. That way we're just saving time. Easy peasy, we win the first day. Now, you have to come back here three days in a row to get the heart piece, otherwise you just get these nice little rupees. Um, not only that, but you have to beat the record. I mean, the records aren't really that hard to beat, so there's no re real reason to worry about that. Um, anyway, now what we do is we lollygag for the first night, because there's nothing else that we can do. I could try to stop the thief, but I mean, I can't stop the thief, and so there's not really a point. Um... So what is our first order of business? Our first order of business is that we are going to start a bank account. Hello! Hey there, little guy. I want you to deposit some rubies. Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit anything. Nothing. Nothing. So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, I'll get you an item that holds a lot of rupees. So what will it be? All right. So how much rupee or how much? How much? 77. Seriously? That's a lot. A lot, a lot. So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Yosh, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposit. Let me s 
Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks and it's not gonna hurt. There. Now I know... Now I'll know you when I see you. Alright, little guy. Now I've got a total of 77 rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save up a bunch. Yep. So pretty much that's what we're gonna do all this first night is we're gonna collect rupees. It's not the most easy thing to do. Actually, there's another thing we need to do on the first night as well. Let me just pull this out real quick. Hey! I don't care about the text, Mr. Deku Scrub. I really don't care where you came from either. It looks like you came from the clock tower, but... I need this Deku flower. Thank you for the land title deed. Okay, bye. Alright, so, and just like that, that is the first heart piece of the game. Or right there, or piece of heart, or whatever you call it. Boom! The door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival. Yes, thank you, Tail. Tattle. Tattle. Yes, Tattle. Um. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do the guard slip. If you know, you know. Or at least we're gonna try to do the guard slip. There we go. There's the guard slip. Boom. And we're not supposed to be out here, and so the game doesn't like it. But... We're gonna take care of all these rupees. And if you don't know what I mean by the game doesn't like it, basically, the game is told that we're not supposed to be out here just yet. Since we have not unlocked the quote unquote Deku mask yet. And so monsters haven't spawned in Termina because we're not supposed to be out in Termina. So we just get to do a nice little roam of Termina without having to worry about any monster, but you know what is here? Money. Because they left the bushes. They left the bushes. Now, since we don't have any items, these bushes are basically programmed to only give me rupees, which is nice. Which is not super, super nice, since we have, like, no other items. So we can just traverse Termina for a little bit, break some bushes, and get some money. Pretty sick deal. Pretty sick deal. Um, in about an hour, though, we're going to return to Termina, or, excuse me, we're going to return to Clock Town, and the reason for the return to Clock Town is because there is a certain individual that I should give this title deed to, specifically on the first set of days, as I need the title deed for other things, but I can't do them yet, and so the best use of the title deed is to give it to the hand in the toilet. Alright. Now we're gonna go into East Clock Town. Now I could have played the Deku Scrub game, but the Deku Scrub game is rigged and the person who hosts the Deku or who hosts the chess game. The chess game for the Deku Scrub will only give us Deku nuts. So it's not worth it. It's really not worth it at all. <clears throat> But we will go into the stockpot in for now. Ignore the scary looking mask in the background. It doesn't matter. Because the only thing that matters is you. Hello! Let's see. B -b 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 Paper, please! 
Here you go, buddy. Yay! Yay! Oh, you saved me! Now, why he's fully in the toilet is beyond me, but... This fell down here. I'll give it to you. Thanks! The heart piece with fecal matter and...